three air textures they look very very similar but they just have one or two things that makes them different hi everyone welcome back to my channel three air textures i'll be talking about and explaining their differences and one or two things that makes them unique kinky coil hair jerry coil and also pixie coil like if you take a look at these three airs they kind of look very very uh, similar they the, the same so if you are somebody that's you know you don't really have experience about airs you might not know so i want to talk about some of the things that makes these three airs a uh, different let me start with a uh, kinky coils kinky coils is one of the oldest coily hair in fact it's one of the air coily it's one of the airs that really made uh, coily hairs to be popular that really even made people start uh, you know wearing coily hairs because I remember back in the day, coily hair used to be like for old people, yes. <laughs> but right now, but since when kinky hair, when kinky hair came out, you know, it's you know it changed that impression. It made people to begin to like coily hairs, even somebody like me as well. And the thing about kinky coils is that kinky coils are very small in 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 size, yes, in size and in texture. Size, they are very small, and they are not so very uh, flashy or shiny they are shiny or they are silky but they are not as silky as uh, others that i will talk about and they also the sizes are very very small and in terms of the texture they have kinky coins have this i don't want to use the word strong so that people will not misunderstand me let me just say they have you know especially for human ears they have this uh, firm texture yes because i don't want to use the word strong or hard they have this uh, they have this firm texture like compared to others that they they kind of they are soft it's not that it's kitty coils is soft but it's it's firm yes so it's not that kind of hair that when, when you put water you know it will get um, very weak so to say it will get very weak no is that Air texture, that coily air texture that even when you add water to it, it you know it still have that firm look, which makes it not to really you know absorb water on time. It's not that it's very soft, especially for the human hair one. Very soft, has nice texture, but very firm. Yes, so which makes it not to you know it accepts water quite alright, but it doesn't stay. You know it it absorbs the water very fast. And gets dry very fast if that makes sense yes so the water absorption of it is not as others that I will talk about but you know and what with kinky coils is that you know the more you brush it the more it gets finer the more it gets fuller they are finer you know when brushed out yes so if you really want your kinky coils you know it looks very fine when you brush it out and if you also you know apply water on it it's you know come out very fine but it doesn't really have that you know a, 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 it doesn't really accept that wet look for a long time yes compared to others that i'll talk about so kinky coils is one of those hairs that even when you brush it or you don't brush it it will still come out uh, nice that's it for kinky coils so now let me talk about a uh, jerry coils jerry coil and kinky coils is almost the same yes very almost like if you are not if you are not experienced with airs you might mistake jerry coil for kinky coil but you know you just require for you to take a very you know you take your time to study it or look at it very well then you will now see the difference and which i want to talk about so kinky coils with my uh, jerry coils Talking with my experience within this is is just a bit of like a combination of kinky coils, which it has more of kinky coils and pixie coil. Yes, but it's just that it's the sizes the the size of a jerry coil is kind of more it's bigger than kinky coils because if you see a typical kinky coil, uh, the coil texture, the coil size is always smaller. But jerry coil has a bigger size yes so it's bigger than kinky coils then at the same time it's 
you know it's it's uh, it's silkier and shiny and much and shiny more than kinky coils like it's them another thing with kinky uh, jerry coil is that jerry coil is uh, not as firm it's not as firm as kinky coils yes then another thing again about jerry coil is that when you you know apply water or when you spray water on it apply water it get very very soft very very silky very very shiny and also more relaxed compared to kinky coils yes it accepts water or the beauty of a jerry coil lies with you know when it's wet although you can still get it it's still very fine you know give it that texture when it's dry like kinky coils but it's finer when it's wet than the uh, kinky coil because i remember back in the days that when you see people you know carrying that wet look you know they'll just say ah this this is jerry coil you no know, i want to make jerry coil you know when people make their natural hair with jerry coil you know just give it that kind of wet uh you know beautiful look so that is how jerry coil is right now it looks like a combination of a pixie and a kinky coil but it's just that it's you know has it's almost like a kinky coil but it's just that it's you know it's not as uh, firm as kinky coils and it's you know accept water that is why jerry coil also you can also it's also water coils as well yes jerry coil can also be referred to as water coils because i don't see, there's no difference between jerry coil and the typical water coils because like a kinky coil when you even when you apply water on a kinky coil fine it will still it will it will be fine to some extent but after a while you know it doesn't really get give you that wet look so if you are somebody that you are into you are looking for a wet look just leave kinky coils out of it instead you go more for a jerry coil jerry coil will give you that wet look jerry coil will come out very fine when it's wet so that thing again is that if you apply water on a jerry coil it gives you you know it's almost similar like a pixie coil talking from experience yes when you apply water on a kinky on a on a jerry coil trust me you even mistake it for a pixie coil so that is where some people are you know uh, you know uh, some people are getting confused about uh, this uh, texture jerry coil because if you apply water on it it looks more like a pixie coil so the next one the third one is a pixie coil pixie coil like we all know is one of the like is one of the hottest curly hairs that is seriously trending in the market for the past should i say two years now so pixie coil is that a uh, coily hair that has a loose texture yes it's also it's very very obvious once you see it it doesn't it doesn't have that you know firm uh, texture it doesn't have that firm look it's very very you know loose sort of you know has this loose texture loose look is softer it's weaker in in texture and even men looking at it as well and it also has two type yes pixie coin has two type let me use this opportunity to say this because some people have been mistaking it uh, as asked me this question P pixie coin has two uh, sizes you get a bigger you can get a pixie coil that has a bigger size and you can also get the one that has a smaller size so it just depends on the one you like or it depends on the one you want so don't maybe feel a vendor maybe scammed you or something because pixie coil you can get it in a bigger size and which i will leave it just for you to see there are some pixie coils that has bigger in that are bigger in sizes there are some that are smaller in sizes so and one thing about a uh, pixie coil is that pixie coil is you know uh, is way way finer when you know when wet yes that is where you will see i keep saying this and i'll say it over and over again wet that is when you will see the beauty of a pixie coil so it's just like more of like a water coil you know and it's also uh, another thing again about pixie coil is that it's you know it's shiny and it's very very shiny very very silky yes you know it has this glossy look that's one thing again about a pixie coil yes pixie coil is very glossy in fact it's glossier than the other type that i've talked about which is a jerry coil and a kinky coil if you see pixie coil is always even is always very glossy 
even right from where you just buy it and you haven't even done anything to it it always has this very shiny and glossy look then when you now apply maybe water or conditioner on it you know it's you know gives you that a uh, very glossy look it's just that it's kind of loose and they're not as firm as the other textures that i have talked about but pixie coil has that wet or has a loose you know when even from the picture you can tell it's not that kind of curly hair that you know is very firm sometimes in fact you even think that maybe the coil will not last because of how loose or how weak uh, the texture uh, has or looks but trust me when you apply water on it you know it's it gives you it's you know it retains the coils back and it gives you that beautiful shiny and then oily look so i hope i've been able to explain the difference the differences between these two airs so if you come across any of these airs i hope you are going to differentiate them and i also leave pictures along with them for you to see how they look like so you can go for anyone you decide to uh, go for so that's it for this video i hope you find this video helpful but if you have watched this point and you haven't subscribed click the subscribe and if you have any question you or if you have anything to that you observe about these three airs if you have used them before if you know that i did not talk about feel free to also make your contribution in the comment section like i always say i don't know it all in this uh, channel and if there's any question relating to this video please feel free to ask me I'll be glad to answer you to the best of my knowledge. But before you click off, if you have watched to this point and you have to subscribe, click the subscribe button to join the family. And also click on the notification bell to get notified anytime I post a new video. Share this video so someone might find it helpful and useful as well. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye for now.